Ready then I wear some sound boy love walk Come me na the dance, come here at the sound Bout them of sound Yo, you don't know a king for the represent for the mighty king of these, you don't know. Right now, I'm chilling with Dan Sinclair and Unruly Cooley on Reggae Vibes. Make sure you subscribe right now. Subscribe to it right now. Tell all your friends, family, it's all about Reggae Vibes. King of these. Yo, welcome, welcome YouTubers to another Dan Sinclair Reggae Vibes quick fire interview. Yo, so big up yourself, dancing clear, you done now, and big up yourself, I'm really cool. I'll be your host for today, the one that comes to Shawnee T. So today, people, who we have here? Mm -hmm. None other than one of the greatest sound system in the history of sound system. King Addis Sound out of New York, Brooklyn, and the bad, bad selector, the man called Kingpin. Yeah, well, Listen, well, well, Good. Well, there, well, well, well. Bless it. So you don't know, we got this little quick fire interview too. I'm just gonna fire some shots at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just come back at me, yeah? Okay, so number one, what inspired you to, to, to be in the music, to be a DJ? Um, music, music is just a part of what my family is about really and truly, because my father used to play music. Yeah. You know what I mean, my mother always plays music in the house. You know, your mother cleaning the house. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, she like, my mother used to live in England, you understand? Yeah, yeah which part? Father, I'm not, oh, well, Tottenham. Oh, yeah, 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 a place yeah, called yeah. Tattoo. She used to live out there. So, you know, on Saturday she, morning, you cleaning and, you know, hear like Judy Boucher and <laughs> Jason Lodge and, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, those kind of tunes and Barris. And so, the, those things as growing up, you just pick up on it and mm -hmm. learn the culture, you know what I mean? So, okay, it was part of it. All right. So, what do you do for me? Describe, describe the sound tip. Describe Addis. Tell the viewers what's Addis all about, really. I mean, Addis is a, a sound from Brooklyn, New York City. You understand? Mm -hmm. Um, owned by Father Ethan, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's a sound from New Lots, originally from Schenectady, and I mean, if you know about Brooklyn streets, you understand yeah, what I'm but saying, but, yeah. yeah, but it's, it's, it's a sound 35 years in the business, mm -hmm. and I mean, put together, I mean, when you think about Addies, you have to think about, like, some of the great artists, because you remember, like, in those days, Father Ethan is a well-respected man in the business, right, Definitely. so, all the artists used to be around Ninja Man, Super Cat, Nicodemus. You name them. Yeah, they, yeah. When they come to New York, it's Addis they come chill with. So that's why we have such a uh, extensive catalog, nitty gritty. All of them, yeah. regions with Father Ethan. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. that, that, that. You know. And then now we just kept going. New youths on the sound. Mm -hmm. Some of the icons like Babyface, Tony Mataran, Danny Dreadlocks. Yes, definitely. and I'm mean, the great Danny Dread. A part of Addis, well, is he Danny Dread? It's still a part of Addis, okay. understand? And now the young youths we hear, so 35 long years of history. If I start talking about it, <laughs> we're gonna be here for like three, four hours, understand? So, so wait, Danny Dread's still, still in New York, or in, in no, no, Canada? Danny Dread lives in Jamaica, Jamaica, okay. Jamaica. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, but so I know that you you, you select and you and you and you and you MC as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which you prefer, which one do you prefer doing? Because I know you said you go that both. Yeah, so. I mean, originally when I started playing music, if you know my personality, you know I'm not a person that talks a lot. So talking is not really my thing, you understand? Okay. So when I started playing music, it was selecting, but eventually I ended up having to talk. Okay. So I, I, I mean, people say I'm all right, people say, you know, but I'm all right with it. And I'd rather play, I actually rather select the tunes than, okay. but when I have to talk, I'll talk. I don't mind. Yeah. So what, so what, what sound did you start out on? What sound did give you a come? Wow. Um, I used to play a, like, you know, local area sound, a local area sound from Guyana called um, Special Guest, but, you know, that was just an area sound, yeah. you know, I mean, sound system and stuff, but when the sound that made me get a little recognition in Brooklyn was a sound called Melotex from Queens, New York City. Okay, yeah. And I mean, I was winning a couple clashes in, in, the, in the, you know, the little circuit that we had going on. They had a little tournaments and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I kept winning them and you know, eventually I caught the eye of King of these, so okay. that's how I ended up on the sound. Uh, wicked. Um, so what's been one of your, your highlights? What's one of your best dances that you that, that you selected at? Cause I've seen you in a few, you know. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen you in a few, you know what I mean? So there's a couple of dances that I, I mean that I love. There's a lot of big dances that I've been in. You know, a lot of big clashes, mm -hmm. some New York clashes. You know what I mean? So there's a lot. It, to really sit down and pick one is okay. is difficult. But I've been around. I've been around like Italy. All these places are like highlights to wow. me because 
you know, a, a guy from Brooklyn, you know what I mean, yeah. playing in Italy. It's yeah. like crazy, you know? Yeah. So yeah. a lot of those things are big. Okay. So when it, when it comes to the box, I know Addis box yeah. is is beyond beyond. Mm -hmm. it, it's untouchable in certain areas. You know, yeah, I yeah. always remember Addis had like some of the baddest combinations ever in the history yeah. of, of sound system. Yeah. You know, so do you do you have favorite? Do you have any favorite dog? What's your top three, oh, top yeah. five? Couple yeah. of them are my favorite. So, I mean, one of my favorite ones is a combination with um, Barris Hammond and Sugar Mine. Whoa. You know what I mean? It's a big, big. It's a tune I always like to play, you know, whenever yeah. I get a chance. But it's a couple of them. It's a couple. A couple of these dub boxes. So, as I said, there's so many things. It's just to narrow down one or two and all <laughs> yes. it's, it's rough. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. But there's a lot of tunes that I love on, in, in the dub box, man. A lot. Mm -hmm. So, if, if you personally, right, we took a hypothetical now, if you was going to put on a dance, who would you really like to play with in a nice dancer war against? You know, what I mean, if you a like promote, uh, yeah, you bringing in Addis, Kingpin bringing in Addis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we just a sound. We, I, I don't have a, a, a preference really. Any any sound, mm -hmm. any sound, any any sound. You know what I mean? I just like to clash. I love competition. So once a sound is there, it could be a young sound, it could be an old sound. Once a sound is there, then they're giving off competition. Okay. I'm happy. You understand? Yeah, right. But there's a lot of sounds that I respect. You know, like. You know, I sound like Stone Love or, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? We're, uh, you know, love those sounds, you know, so, okay. any sound really, Andrew. All right, so, which sound can you tell me that you when you're selecting an Addis, have you absolutely luck off? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Beast out of sea. What? Yeah, Florida. Yeah. Tampa Bay. Black out of the sea of Tampa Bay. Okay. Um, it's a couple. Right now, we... We had three clashes, three one-on-one, -on -one, well, three clashes like that, where mm -hmm. it's two songs or one sound, and I have one, all three of them straight lock-offs. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. right. So right. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing, you know? But it's a lot of sounds that... <laughs> so do you personally, do you, do you voice the artist? Are you, are you the studio man? Or you have I mean, I do that? the studio work right now. As of now, I do the studio work, like mixing down dubs and all that stuff. Yeah. I do that, but... Right. To say like which tunes we voice, it's like a collective thing. Everybody puts their input of you know. Yeah. If we hear a tune that we like in a dance or whatever, we will say you know that tune. But and I mean, if you know, you understand. Like if we in a party and we have a new tune come out, yeah. and we say yo that tune is bad, so we would just take it to management and management just deal with it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, or sometimes they would just send send us to the studio and we will go and actually link the artists and voice it. Nice. Yeah. So since we're on this dub trail, what is the first dub you artist that you ever voice? Ever in my history ever of voice. In the history of King um, the Selector. <laughs> the first tune I ever voiced, me and my brethren, um, Bossman, we voiced the um Junior Demos. What? Yeah, Junior Demos, Junior Demos, the one that go um Shot make your wig up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the voice that one, that was the first tune, yeah. me and my brother. That was the first song I played for really. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Bad <laughs> so um, all right. So I know and this is, is, a, is a reggae sound, a rubber dub sound, yeah. really. But what, what type of do you, do you listen to other genres of music? Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course we listen to all kind of music. I remember Addis Billboard song when you think about it. You know what I mean? Well, that's that's the name we have. So that means hip hop, everything in a, in a sense. And I mean, so I I play all kinds of music. I play reggae. I play soca. I play okay. hip hop, okay. Afro beats, everything. You okay. understand? It's just that when we don't limit it to one thing, because Addis are something we juggle too. So if you yeah. live in New York and you're not really juggling, doesn't yeah. make any sense. So we do all kind of things, you know what I mean? So question: You ever get to play at Bill Bill Moore Ballroom? No, I'm too young for that. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> too young for that. Right? Uh, too um, young. There's there's mad videos on YouTube yeah. and everything. You know what I mean about them dancers? And um, un unfortunately, Bill Biltmore is like closed down now, yeah. so it's okay. like it's not even a ballroom anymore. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a hairdresser thing now. Yeah. And it's a bunch of ideas, a bunch of stuff. So, but I'm I'm too young for for Bill. Okay. More, unfortunately. So just you, you know what I mean you, you took over Addis after yeah after, that after, era. after after because that that era do you, do you know a lot about the history of Addis I mean yeah I try to learn a lot about the history I mean and you listen to audios all the time and you yeah. try to pick up certain things and you talk to like the elders on the sound yeah. so you try to pick up certain things but to say like I know everything now but it's it's too, so much history 
Okay, yeah, because one of the most iconic dances, well, one, it's in the list because, you know, it, it's very subjective when, when you talk about the sound clash thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some dances are personal to people. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Well, I know one of the greatest dance and greatest fight Addis ever had was against Jara Trooper. Yeah, yeah. You know about that dance there? Yeah, yeah, that was in Jamaica, Portmore, Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I won. Uh, What's <laughs> your views on that dance? Listen, you must yeah, listen well, we listen to, that, to it enough times still, but you know, I hear a whole heap of different stories and stuff about that dance. So mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know, but you know, the world talks about it. It's, they say it's the the biggest dance in history of song clash. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, yeah. So. It, it, that's what I say it's, uh, you know, what I mean, it's subjective because there's a, there's a few big big dance, but I know personally yeah. that dance. Like when that cassette came out, mm -hmm. that weren't no CD days or MP3 yeah, yeah, days. Cassette. When the cassette came out. Be, if you never had that, <laughs> you never had nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so um, what, what other interests do you have outside of the sound system world? Meaning like, what else do we do? What else I yeah. do? Yeah. Well, you know, we, we do what I, we do. We just, most of the time I chill, play sports. But I'm in, into sports and okay. stuff. Not soccer like that. But Football. Yo, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Not really soccer. I mean, I might play FIFA and stuff, PS4 okay. and stuff, but yeah. you know. Before I used to play music, I used to play basketball a lot, you know what I mean? I used okay. to play high school basketball and stuff and all that, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of things that computers is my thing. I'm an okay. IT technician at that yeah. too, yeah. So, wow. yeah, I'm on. So there's a lot of things we do, you know. Okay. So I'm going to enjoy this question. If you take music out of your career, because I know music has led you down many paths, what, yeah. what would you be doing if you weren't doing music then? I don't know. I really don't know. Probably IT work with okay. laptops or something, but to take music out would be rough, boy. Rough, you know? <laughs> Man. <laughs> that's the thing about it, it's just rough, but you know, music is what, it's, that's what we do, that's what I do, you know? It's all I do technically, you know? Yeah, yeah man. Man. but at this man, it works. Yeah, yeah. Really. yeah. You have a big sound at this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so what kind of future plans do you have for you as a selector with Addis and something like this? Do you have plans of, of, of Going on and building, creating your own sound. Nah, yeah, there like is, there's no plans of that. Man. Yeah. There's no plans of that right now. And I don't, I don't really see a reason to. You understand? Yeah. I mean, at ease is a. Once you do your work on at ease, is is, is you gonna be around for? You know what I okay. mean? Okay. And of course, at, at in everything you do, at some given time, you're gonna have to take a step back. And you know you have to bring in some new yeah. people. And I don't, I wouldn't mind helping out new people because people around the sound help me. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So. It's just what it is, you know what I mean? But I don't see me ever building my own sound. Nah. No, okay. No, nah, no. Nah. There's no way. Too much too much money. Man. <laughs> <laughs> too much work, boy. Alright. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, um what's I gonna really say to you? Um do you, so so you you're not interested in, in the production side, you well, like yeah, yeah, label yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, making yeah. music and Yeah man. I do I could I can do a little something on a keyboard. I pl I I grew up playing drums. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do oh, do all that stuff. So, so I mean I'm not I mean mu as I said, music is what I do, so it's not only turntables for me. It's okay. all the other stuff. But in the future that's one of my goals to okay. make a rhythm that, you know, that everybody will love, you know, that's one of my goals, you know. So in the future you never know. Yeah. That's yeah that's so do you do you do is are you supported well by your family and, and yeah. Yeah, I'm on, yeah, I'm on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm saying man Believe it or not, one of my nephews is a, a artist in England. Yeah, he sings grime music. Yeah, good. yeah, grime yeah, over here. Yeah, he's grime music. music. Tuts is his name. Tuts. You yeah. say his name is Tuts. Tuts. Yeah, he's, I mean he's. Un, I mean I, I don't. I don't know how big of an artist he is. Yeah, yeah. But I'm happy for him. You know, yeah, proud and young. You know what I mean? So he's doing his thing. So I think music is a thing in our family. Even even I told you my father used to play music. All kind of stuff. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's a good. It's a it's a good thing. My parents. My mother always supports me. You know. When it comes to music, she would tell me like just once it's making you happy and you know you're making a little money off of it and you could do your thing. Yeah. Go ahead, put your best foot forward. True, true. Yeah. So I have no issues when it comes to that. Okay. Come on. All right. So tell me something. You, all right, I know you're young still. Yeah. You understand? But do you have a message for any up and coming selectors and of people course. that want to get into sound system vibes? Like. The first thing you have to do, really and truly, is just keep practicing in anything you do. If you're an artist work on your stage performance, if you're a songwriter, work on your writing skills, if you're a young DJ, just keep practicing, it's mm -hmm. gonna work out for you, you never, you never know what can happen, you know what I mean, you don't know which, like me, I was a, I was just clashing on a, 
in a local thing and then all of a sudden I'm playing King of these one the week after, you understand? Yeah. So you never know who's watching, you never know what's happening. And I mean, and don't listen to what people say. Because you know, in everything, people going to hate, oh, he's not good, he's not this, he's not that. Mm -hmm. We don't watch that, man. Just True. keep focusing on what you want to do. That's it, it sounds like something everybody would say, but it's the, it's the truth. Yeah, it's really the truth. So you just keep focusing and keep working hard. Keep practicing. Practice is the key to everything. Yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So Kingpin, yeah, that's man. us, man. This is done seem clear. <laughs> yeah, man. You understand? This is done seem clear. Reggae vibes. Yeah. Okay. So people, there you have it. Yeah, man. The newest baddest mm -hmm. select upon Addis Sound. The iconic Addis Sound. I'm telling you. All right, man. Call Mr. Kingpin. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. For being Time, huh? yeah, man, you know what I mean? We're to everybody out in yeah. England, we're to dance and clear the whole reggae vibes family. You don't know how it goes, man. Oh. Big up to you as well, bro. Yeah, ah, respect, respect. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, people, and there you have it, see? So, big up to some dancing clear and I'm really cool here, don't know. YouTubers, I want you to check it out, subscribe, like, and tune in. Dancing Sinclair has always got some art for you. Right now, we're out. Add this. Yeah, man. Dancing clear. Boom. Enough respect.